What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Well today is something very, very special. I'm so excited, I'm so proud to bring this to you guys. The new product from GIFT Labs called T2G, Time to Grow. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's in T2G and how it works. This is a very, very different product. Now, for the last couple of years, these natural anabolics like Laxogen, etc., have been really popular because people want that boost, but they want the natural boost. So they want to build muscle faster and get the results faster, but they don't want to resort to illegal drugs and harmful things, stuff like that. So these, these new quote unquote natural anabolics, which are plant sterols, right, which the laxogen is actually derived from Smilax, which Smilax was around in the early 90s. So it's not like it's necessarily new, it's just an extract of that. And it's kind of repackaged and then now what's happening is you're seeing company after company trying to compete with each other by just basically increasing the amount of laxo per, um, you know, per product to try to say we're better than the other one. And they're looking for these new things, but my thing was, what about the things that have been forgotten? Now, one of the things in T2G, the first thing that I wanted to put in there immediately was something called Sumarut, the 50 paniculata. Now, this is gonna go back a long time, guys. Bear with me. This video is gonna have a lot of information in it, so it's gonna be things that you probably have never heard of, too. So, the Sumarut itself, which is the, the plant name, is called the 50 paniculata. Back in the day, we're talking probably 1993, 93, because I graduated in 93. So, 1993, it was on the market, it was called the Russian Secret. I actually found an ad in a magazine that said The Russian Secret. I ordered the, the supplement. I started taking it. It worked really well. The problem was it was like $65 back in 1992 for that product. Well, the name that was on it, they, they didn't call it Sumarut. They called it the Fifia Paniculata, which was a very kind of strange name. Well, fast forward to, um, you know, probably two or three years. I'm working at a nutrition store. I'm learning all the different herbs, and I see the herb Sumarut. I pick it up off the shelf. I look at it. It says Fifia Paniculata. I'm like, that's the Russian Secret herb. So now I'm like, I need to really delve into this because this is not just the secret thing you could buy in a, a supplement catalog. It's on the market. You can find it in stores. So the more I started to research it, the more I realized that the Sumeru to the 50 Paniculata was used by the Russians back when it was the Soviet Union to compete in the Olympics. Now, Diana Ball was actually created, or methandrostenolone, by a, a German lab called SIBA. The Russians had their own version that was called Russian D-Ball, which was methandrostenolone. And now what was happening was it was getting tested for in the Olympics. It was getting tested for in competition. So they had to find something else that wasn't tested for, that wasn't drug related. This is what they use, the Fifia Paniculata, AKA the Sumarut. Now, I'm gonna go over through all the benefits of every one of these things that are in the product in a second. I'm gonna read them off. I actually wrote a big description. I'm just gonna read it right off so everything sounds very interesting and sounds on point so I don't forget anything. But I wanna go over the other two parts of it. There's three parts. Now, taking one of these adaptogen formulas by themselves, which Sumarut is an adaptogen, and taking them stacked together, you now have, you know, I like to kind of put it out there like Sustanine. Taking one testosterone by itself, but we know with the blend of testosterones, we get better results. It's stacking it within its own product. That's what's happening with T2G. So we actually have something called Cordyceps. Cordyceps comes from a mushroom, another adaptogen, which has been, it stood the test of time for Chinese medicine for like thousands of years. But it's one of those things that have been long forgotten. Now, combining the Sumeru with the Cordyceps works unbelievable. However, there was one more element that has been long forgotten, and not many people even know about it, which is called Mumio, or Shilajat. Mumio comes from Russia again. It actually grows like this type of algae, which again, it is another adaptogen. Now, you keep saying adaptogen. They might be like, Jerry, what are you talking about adaptogens? Here's the thing. Your body cannot grow muscle in an anabolic state if the outside stresses, including the stress from the training itself, can't be adapted to. So therefore, if you're the type of person that's outside and you have a stressful job and stress this and you're not sleeping well, you're taking in you know, your calories and your food and your training, but your body's not growing, it's because of external, external stresses excuse me, that your body cannot adapt to, holds you back. Your body can only adapt so much, and it's not going to be able to adapt from the training if it's trying to adapt from external stresses. And that is a big reason why so many people don't accomplish their goal. There's so much going on outside of the gym than inside of the gym. If you're in the gym training for an hour a day, you're outside of the gym 23 hours a day. You can easily undo outside of the gym what you did in the gym. So the bottom line was how do we deal with these external stresses to adapt to those stresses so our bodies can then build muscle at a faster rate? Well, here's the interesting thing. I'm going to read these things right off of uh, the uh, description I wrote, right? So, um, the, I'm going to read the whole thing, right? This is on the website. It's going to be on the website if you want to reference it to it. Natural anabolics have been all the rage the last few years, like laxogen and things we just talked about. But even though some of them work well for some, others, they don't get anything from them, which is exactly what I'm talking about, why they're not growing. A big reason is outside stress. Stress can stop muscle gains dead in their tracks. 
And that's gonna end right now with time to grow. Adaptogens are plant sterols, quote unquote plant hormones, that have been affecting the body. Sumer root, the 50 paniculata root, fifty paniculata, excuse me, I'm so pumped right now, you have no idea guys. It's long been called the Russian secret, used in place of Debo, which we just talked about. The results were astounding. They kept it on lockdown for dec decades, but it's also known as the Brazilian ginseng. Now it's something interesting, it's not a ginseng, but they call it the Brazilian ginseng because it also has tonic-like effects like ginseng. So here's what sumer root does, right? Helps with fatigue, anxiety, it boosts the immune system, reduces pain from soreness from your weight training, digestive health, gives you energy, adaption to stress, increased protein synthesis, helps heal the endocrine, cardiovascular, and nervous systems. Those are all from the sumer root. Now, there's part of the sumer root that helps with the, uh, the protein synthesis called beta ectosterone. Beta ectosterone actually was a product on the market quite a few years ago because people learned about the sumer root. And just like HMB, how they extracted it from leucine, they pulled the, the beta ectosterone from the sumer root. They put it on the market, except it didn't get the effects that they thought it would because it was just increasing protein synthesis. It didn't do the other things that are in the root that helped that happen. So by extracting just the beta ectosterone, you basically just neutralize what the actual product really did. You need the whole sumer root in a certain amount of extract from the sumer root itself. You can't just take a piece of it. It works together. So all those things that it works, that works with it together, those other um, type of adaptogen features are not just muscle protein synthesis. Those other things have to take place for protein synthesis or muscle growth to take place. Now, cordyceps comes from a mushroom, Chinese medicine, helps with cardiovascular health, ATP production, right, energy in the gym, renal function helps your kidneys, helps heal your kidneys. There's plenty of research on all of these, all three of these things, guys. There's data go out there. It's unbelievable how much data is out there. All you gotta do is just go look for it, right? Um, Anti-inflammatory effect, increased energy levels via oxygen regulation. Think about cardio, right? Anti-cancer stimulates light cells, meaning increases your testosterone naturally, right? And helps balance cortisol and other stress hormones. So just those two alone, you're getting effects on the body as a holistic thing that absolutely changes the way that your body is going to grow. Hands down, it actually puts your body in a better state for muscle growth than if you weren't taking these products and just taking something like a natural anabolic alone. Now the last one, the Mumio, right? A powerful adaptogen. It's actually been called the most powerful adaptogen out there. Helps with increased muscle mass fast. It increases muscle mass faster. Data shows 10 to 20% faster than if you didn't take it. That data is scientific data that has been studied and is out there, right? Um, increased training workloads of 15 to 25%. Actually, the, the, mass, the increased muscle mass also, it relied also on a high protein diet with it. And what they did was they had just high protein diet and they had just the Mumio. Then they had the Mumio with the high protein diet and the high protein diet Mumio blew them away. It was literally 20% faster growth. Um, overnight recovery, arthritis, joint issues, antioxidant ability, stabilizes blood sugar, immune system, and libido. That's what Mumio does. You stack Mumio, Sheila Jet, with Cordyceps, with Sumerut, and you now have one of the most powerful products that have ever been made on the whole planet for muscle growth, healing, and recovery. Now, as a byproduct, you get all these health benefits too. But here's the thing. Again, when they pulled out the beta ectosterone, or they had seven beta ecti, and there were so many things they pulled and extracted out of the Sumerut itself that didn't pan out because those other things were missing. This is the formula, all three in there, it's a 1300 milligram dose per serving, two capsules. And literally, I'm telling you right now, there is nothing on the market that will be stronger to help your body heal and progress faster from what you're doing in the gym when you're outside of the gym. All you gotta do is get up in the morning and take two capsules of T2G, guys. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna change the way things are done in the supplement industry. There is no doubt in my mind that once this thing drops and people start using it, it's, it's unbelievable. The amount of, of time it takes to get your gains that you've been putting in the gym can be shortened significantly by using adaptogens. Adaptogens are the future. They're in the past, but they're in the future also. The reason being is we had stuff like Sumerut, Cordyceps, Mumio, and all of a sudden new things came out that seemed sexier. Creatine was the next big thing. Now creatine worked different than the Sumerut, the Cordyceps, but similar to the Cordyceps where it helps ATP production, excuse me. However, when the new sexy creatine came out, it was touted as the next best thing to steroids, people forgot all about the adaptogens. Well, realistically, stacking the creatine with the adaptogens would be even more powerful because you're getting a one-two punch. So instead of going and looking at it as, this is something to add to the arsenal, like meaning we had adaptogens, let's add creatine to the muscle building arsenal. 
what they do was go, well, you know what? This creatine thing is new, it's sexy, people are gonna to wanna to buy it. We can make more money with this. We take the other stuff and throw it away because they didn't really fully understand that adaptogens, like the body adapts. When you take steroids, yes, it increases muscle protein synthesis. However, it helps your body adapt to the stress. The stress in the gym, the stress outside of the gym, your body is much in a more adaptive state when you're on steroids than when you're not. That's the big thing. They're anti-catabolic, they're, ca they're anabolic. They're not just something that increases muscle protein synthesis. There's multiple mechanisms by which steroids work. This product, I'm not gonna say compared to steroids because that would be wrong. Nothing beats steroids. However, it's been used in place of steroids and there's plenty of data out there proving it. It's been in used in place of times where you were getting drug tested for an event and this was legal. Now, as of right now, this is legal for most organizations, meaning those tested organizations and natural organizations, it's 100% legal for that. However, because beta ectosterone has been looked at, the International Olympic Committee as of this year has started looking to put it on the ban list. So even though it's right now it's not on the ban list, they've already taken steps to try to move it for the International Olympic Committee, USADA, WADA, to put it because of the beta ectosterone. So as, as of right now, it's still legal to use in competition everywhere. So, but you know, just to be safe, make sure you guys check with your federations, your organizations, just to make sure that Sumarut, Cordyceps, Mumio, things like that are legal in it. But I searched high and low. I had a couple of other people that I knew that were natural federations ask everyone they knew. They came back with, no, it's 100% legit. We've looked at every list we can find. 100% you can use this in any organization to increase muscle growth faster than if you were just out there using a quote unquote natural anabolic. So guys, T2G is available right now, biocytraining.com and Amazon as well. I am so excited, I am so pumped guys, because you have no idea how long I've been looking into bringing something to market that will help with the muscle gains, but blow everything out of the water that's already on the market. And now we have it, T2G guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. Again, biocytraining.com, Amazon, also it's available. Thank you guys again for the support, and we're out.